In this video, I'm going to go over the instructions for doing representative elementary volume analysis in the Puma software. Assuming the installation has been complete, Puma should be able to be run by typing in Puma from every terminal, after which the Puma window will appear. Now, to perform representative elementary volume analysis, we need a domain to analyze. Uh, this domain needs to be imported through the microtomography import option, um, not generated as an artificial geometry. If you want to use uh, the REV analysis on an artificially generated geometry, the way to do that is to generate the artificial geometry, save it as a TIFF, saying file, save, TIFF stack, original, and then import that into the microtomography import section. Now what representative elementary volume analysis is, is a way to determine at what size for any given property that you want to compute, you can be reasonably sure that the output you're getting is representative of the overall material. So the way we define that in Puma is where if you take the same property calculation at multiple places within your domain, the standard deviation of the value falls to below a certain threshold that's usually taken to be one or two percent. In order to compute the representative elementary volume analysis, go to the representative elementary volume REV analysis tab and select the properties that you want to compute the representative elementary volume on. So in this case, we'll choose porosity, specific surface area, and thermal conductivity. Next is to choose the domain sizes. Since this is a 200, uh, since this is a 512 cubed sample, the domain sizes have to be smaller than that, and the largest domain size has to be at least half, I mean, it has to be half or less of the 512 cubed. So in this case, we can go 64, 128, and five, uh, and uh, 256. The criterion for REV is usually one or two percent. In this case, we'll go two percent. Now, in order to run the representative elementary volume analysis, we have to make sure that all of the inputs required for each of these things has been set. So the input for the porosity is the grayscale range of the material. In this case, both of the values have to be specified. For the specific surface area, the requirement is also just the grayscale range of the material. For the thermal conductivity, we have to input the appropriate input values for the thermal conductivity. In this case, we want to specify the void phase with a local thermal conductivity of 0 0.0257, which is the conductivity of air, and then 128 to 255, with a thermal conductivity value of 12, which is the thermal conductivity of a carbon fiber approximately. And then in accuracy, we'll take 1e to the minus 3 to make it a little bit faster. Number of threads, we'll select 4. And we'll only specify it in one direction. At this point, the REV analysis can be done by clicking Begin REV Analysis. Now this will probably take a few minutes, so I'm probably going to skip to the end. At this point, the representative elementary volume is complete. As you can see, the value is different for each of the properties. Uh, the porosity converges fairly quickly with an interpolated value of 141 micrometers cubed for a representative elementary volume. For the specific surface area, it's slightly higher with 215. And for the thermal conductivity, as you can see, the final value had a uh, normalized standard deviation of about 5.4%. Now, what that means is that at 256 cubed for this material, there is about a 5.4% uncertainty or 5.4% standard deviation in the computations. The value is then extrapolated based on a power law from these three points to have a, an approximate representative elementary volume of 520 cubed micrometers. Uh, however, since it's an extrapolation, it should be taken with a grain of salt. The interpolations can be uh, taken with a little bit more confidence. 
what this tells you more than anything is what the uncertainty is at this size. And that pretty much concludes the representative elementary volume analysis aspect of the Puma software.